Hey, my name is Chelsea and I teach easy one compact makeup tips and tricks to everyday ladies who've never been taught anything in the makeup department. So here's the point of view, friends. You just received your one compact. Let's build it and let me show you how to use it. So your tins are going to come like this. Let's put them in our palette. So this top row is where I like to keep my main four colors. So we've got my contour. This is going to define your face, add dimension, snatch your jawline, give you cheekbones. Let me show you where to use it. We're going to use this one brush. This is the 3D brush. We are going to use it on our forehead, on our cheekbones, and our jawline and then our nose. I just personally like to use my fingers to apply my nose contour. Then let's go into our brightening highlight. Our brightening highlight is like our concealer. So this is going to go on the inner corners of your eyes, the outer corners of your eyes, right in the middle of your forehead, right between your nose contour, Cupid's bow, and chin. Also like to put it on my eyelids. Then comes your main highlight. And your main highlight is basically going to go all the places that you don't currently have makeup on your face. This is going to be a one layer makeup application. So we're going to put it on our forehead like I just did jawline, cheekbones, kind of right up under your eye, around your mouth. It's going to cover that redness and it's going to give you a nice smooth finish. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to blend lightest to darkest. I'm going to start with those highlight colors using a tapping motion to blend those colors right into my skin. Look at the coverage that it's giving me on all that redness that I have. Then we're going to go into the contour. And don't forget your jawline. Don't go out in public without blending out your jawline. Then using that tapping motion that I was talking about, keep blending out that contour. You don't want to over blend or else the definition is going to go away. Blend your contour up towards your hairline. Then I'm going to add my lip and cheek color. We have so many options. This is candy. It's a gloss. It's going to go on my lips and my cheeks. I like to do this last so that I really get a little bit of a pop of color on my cheeks and I don't over blend it. Come back for part two, where we build my second layer. 